Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be learning how to draw an American traditional style eagle. Uh, tattoo design or tattoo style eagle. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a mechanical pencil. You can go ahead and use whatever type of pencil you'd like. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, it's up to personal preference. If you just want to use a normal pencil, uh, feel free to follow along with what you have. So we're going to start off by drawing in a basic shape of the body and head placement. And to do this, we're going to draw a big curved line like this. That's going to be the head. And then you can bring that right back up like that. Just a curve, just like that. Now starting from about the halfway point, you're going to come up, cutting into that shape. Adding a little curve in and then coming up just like that. And from the very top there, you can just cut down and across, making a nice big curve. This is going to be an indicator for where one of our wings is going to be. And starting at a little bit higher than this point here, probably about there, you can come out and do another curve. And this one will go straight up like this. And then we might curve it back down. You want to try and keep the wings pretty similar in size, of course. And do it like that. There are two basic sort of main shapes for this one. Uh, we're going to add the tail in now. So you're going to follow this line around. And down like that. And add in this very basic curved shape just like that so it comes down and then cuts straight across just like that and that's going to be sort of our basic shape and we'll start adding in some finer shapes and a little bit more detail so we're going to start by adding in the shape of the head and to do this we're going to first add in the eyebrow or the top part of the head so just a little sort of circle or oval shaped line like that and it's going to come up and back and you want to define where the end of the neck is going to be or where the end of the feathers the white feathers are going to be so i think we're going to put it right about there and then you can come down from here a little bit and put in the beak the beak shape is just going to be a curved sort of triangle shape that's going to come down like that and then from the bottom of that you're going to add in another little triangle bring it around like that for the back of the beak and then sort of just link it all back up just like that now at this point you can either add a tongue or no tongue I'm going to leave this one without if you wanted to you just add a little a little tight actually you know what we'll we'll add one in there just like that just for uh just for an example there okay we're going to come back up from the bottom and link that back in to the uh, end of the neck there so coming off this eyebrow shape here we can add the eye in and the eye is just going to be a little sort of curved shape like that and add a little dot for your pupil okay. and I uh, sort of want the beak to be a little bit bigger on this one actually just a little bit wider at the top there so you just you can always erase that and just change the shape a little bit and this is something where you'll just have to sort of play around with the shapes a little bit till you get the shape and the expression that you'd like to have on the eagle We're just changing the shape of the eye a little bit as well. There's no rush and there's no need to get this, you know, first try. I think that's pretty good. So we'll add a little nostril into the beak there. And then you can go ahead and start adding the feather shapes to the head. So the feather shapes are basically just going to be little peaks. And the more feathers you sort of add to it, the more ruffled they're going to look. And the less you add, the more smooth... Uh, kind of look this will have So we're going to come up off the edge and add some of these feathers in Okay, 
And again, the feathers are something you can be quite experimental with and sort of just play around with until you find a shape that you like. Uh, you might want to add more feathers and make it look really rough or not as many feathers and make it a really smooth eagle head. Completely up to you. I think we'll leave it at that. So from here, this line is going to is going to. So from here, this line here is going to go straight up, and that's all you need to do for that. So that line's quite easy. Uh, from underneath here, following along this curve, you're going to come up like this, and straight out to about probably two thirds. Uh, sorry, a third of the way up the wing. And then you're going to cut back from the peak. And then add in these simple overlapping curves. And they will just follow through to the base of the wing there. Okay, from here what you can do is go ahead and divide up the wings. So starting just before the tip of this first shape that we've drawn in, you're going to do a big sort of uh, curved fan shape that tapers down at the bottom so it's wider at the top and smaller at the bottom. And then you're going to come up probably oh, about a quarter of the way here and do the same thing out to there. So these will be that'll be the shape of our... Uh, more refined shape of our wing, sorry. And you can go ahead and add in the feathers. The feathers are pretty simple sort of shapes. You're going to come out, form like a curved peak, and then sort of curve back in. So we'll do that again. You come out and curve back in. And you want to stagger these so that they taper down to the same size as the line that's down here, okay? Okay, and to do the larger feathers of the wing, the first four or five feathers will look a little bit different and the rest of them will follow format. So we're starting at the end of this peak, you can come right out to the end there, add a little point, and then from that point, we do a little curve that then tapers in towards the bottom here. Okay, and you're gonna do several more feathers like that which are again staggered in size so that they get smaller as you go. And when you reach this point, uh, you can sort of go ahead and start going back into our normal feather shape. We might do one more sort of pointed one, just like that. And then you'll be coming out and just doing that same feather shape we did in the first row of feathers. And just like that, you've got a very simple uh, wing shape in. Okay, coming over to the left wing here, you want to cut off a shape starting at about, well, I'll say about a third of the way up, which is just going to be like a semicircle uh, curved shape in there. And then again, another third of the way up, maybe a little bit less, you'll do another curved line which will start bigger and again taper right down here these feathers here are the same ones as here and the end ones are the same as the ones over here so you pretty much do them the exact same way you're going to come out and add the feathers in and taper them down So, coming up from the end of the, uh, the, the wing here, we're going to add in these small round, uh, round shaped feathers that sort of look like fish scales. And so you're going to start with one like that, from the center of that, you add two more, and then you link the centers of those. And you basically just do semicircles that come off the center of each of these feathers. And this is very similar to the way that you do scales if you were drawing a tattoo style fish. 
So if you've done that sort of thing before, this will be easy for you. Now you sort of want these little fish scale feathers to overlap this row of feathers here. So don't be afraid to sort of add a few extra feathers at the end of this first row. To start the tail, starting from behind this wing, you're going to drop down like right to the end there. And starting from about here, add in a little curved line that links right back into that first line. And then we're going to add in some tapered sort of shapes here. They're going to start thinner at the top and end up wider at the bottom. And these will be the tail feathers. Just like that. Okay. And I like to sort of do... I'm not, so, not sure what kind of shape you'd call that, but I like to do that sort of shape. So it's basically coming down into a peak and then curving back out of it. I like to do that at the bottom of these tail feathers. So we'll go through and do it like that. Okay. And from there, that's pretty much your tail feathers done. I like to add these little lines into them with a little circle at the end of the line. And so from here you can add in the claws. The first claw is going to be probably about here. So I would add in a leg coming straight down across from where that tail is. You can go straight over the top of it. And another line there. And you want these lines to start thicker at the top and end up thinner where the claw is going to start. And you want to add the same feather shapes you did to the bottom of the eagle's head to the back line of the of the uh, arm here. Now I'm just going to rub out some of these lines here for clarity. Okay, so to do the claw, we're going to bring this line straight down basically, add a little curve at the end, and add in a nice big tail on there. And then make little curved lines that sort of bump this way uh, back into the foot area and you'll want to add a little claw to the back as well this is sort of the thumb claw linking them up the same way and then you want to add one more claw behind so that you can see it coming from behind this is the third claw coming from the back there can then finish off the tail behind this uh, arm here just by following the line adding in a peak and one more if you'd like to okay so that's our basic eagle shape uh, finished we're going to go ahead and start inking this one so as always we are starting with a Copic Multiliner 0.5 in black and we're going to go ahead and just trace the entire image as it is Okay, so we've erased all the pencil lines and I'm now just going through and boosting up some areas using a Copic marker, uh, Copic Multiliner, sorry, 0 0.8 uh, in black and we're just boosting up some of these lines. Uh, look, I've gone over line boosting in a lot of my videos, so if you look at some earlier tutorials, you'll sort of have a more in-depth idea of, of what it is and how I approach it. But generally, the idea of it is to thicken up lines using a thicker marker. Um, and basically anything that you boost will be pushed forward to the front. Um, with something like this, because it's so simple and it's by itself, I like to sort of trace nearly, nearly the whole thing, um, just to push it forward and give it that really graphic look. Um, but of course your wings would be boosted, uh, your head and your, your, uh, beak and all that would be boosted. The claws I don't usually boost, uh, maybe this line here. 
So you just sort of go through and boost things that you want to push forward and leave things thin that you want to sort of have drop into the back a little bit. Um, and this will sort of give you a bit, bit of depth um, before you actually start shading and coloring this thing. Um, if you want to follow along, you can just pause as I go and copy exactly what I've done. If you're comfortable with your line boosting and you've watched some of my other tutorials, you can go ahead and just boost away. Okay guys, so we've finished lining our eagle. We're gonna go ahead and start shading this one before we put any color in. Uh, the, the colors that we're using for this, we're using a very, very limited palette, uh, as I normally do with this old school stuff. Uh, so we're gonna start off with our Ecoline 700 uh, black brush pen. And uh, this is what I use for all the black shading you see me do in my tutorial videos. Uh, when I hand paint flash, I use Liquitex acrylic inks, uh, but for the purpose of speeding things up and make it a little bit easier for me to explain and also paint while I explain, uh, I go ahead and I, I use these eco line markers, okay? So starting right in here, you're going to fill in this entire section black, leaving a line from there till about there of white. And then right along that edge where the body sort of ends, we're just going to blend that out a little bit using our brush pen here. Okay, uh, the next thing we'll do is go ahead and shade in this, uh, the claw that's at the front here. And we're doing the exact same thing. It's solid black from this edge and fading out to the feathers at the back there. We're going to angle this starting at about there, down to about where this peak is of this triangle here. Okay, just like that. That's going to be solid black. And from there, you're going to fade that out a little bit, blend it. And that's all this is. We're basically adding in the values by shading, shading in with the black brush marker and the watercolor brush like we've done in a lot of my other tutorials. So I like to add just a little bit of black around the eyes to give it a little bit of depth around those areas where the, uh, the feathers would be a little bit sort of sunken in. And this will sort of make him look a little bit more angry too. Because it will give that eyebrow a little bit more, more shape. And you can also do a little bit underneath the, the, the bottom of the chin here. Just to give the head a little bit more shape. Coming up into this first row of feathers, we're going to do a circle. Uh, sorry, not a circle. We're going to do like a curve or a circle edge. Starting at the top. And just following the same contour all the way around to nearly the bottom getting wider at that sort of midpoint and then fading it out and this particular bit of shading will just take a bit of time to work out you can always add more ink or more water and just play around with the with the shape a little bit you want this to be nice and smooth and you're gonna do the same thing with this back row but these first few feathers that you added the points to you're gonna add a sort of slight angle to them so you're gonna shade them from that top angle sort of like that okay leaving the bottom edge of them nearly completely white and from that point you can do the same thing you did in this first row and add in a curved shape being careful not to overlap these first feathers And that curved shape is where your shadow will come from, just like we did the first time there. Now with the other wing, the first set of feathers and the second set of feathers will be the exact same as this. So we'll go ahead and add in those shapes and shade them out.
you're basically going to shade uh, or you're going to color in solid black uh, shapes, solid black feathers, uh, leaving a very thin little white edge on all of them. Okay, so to give you an example of what that looks like, you color them in solid, leaving a little white gap on every single one of them. Uh, this process here is probably the most time consuming part of it. So, but you want this to look good, neatness counts, so just take your time. Okay, once you've gone ahead and colored in all of those uh, feathers there, the little fish scale feathers, we're going to add one last little detail to that portion of feathers, which looks quite nice. And it's almost going to look like you're ruining your own work for a second here, but just trust me on this one. You're going to start at the bottom and end up at here and add in a thick black line like that and color that in nice and solid. And from that point, you're going to shade up and straight over the top of your other scales or your other feathers. Uh, there's really not much color in this one, guys. Really simple. We're going to be using three colors and we'll be starting off with the 334. Uh, I believe this is a scarlet red. Yep, a scarlet red from Ecoline. And we're going to start at the base of this segment of the wing and sort of work our way hmm, probably about halfway up just like that and then come straight in with the yellow and blend it through this is a 202 deep yellow and we're going to do the same sort of thing in the beak starting with red at the tip of the beak just like that and fading that red into a yellow and now go ahead and color in the claw section using 318 carmine which is sort of like a pinkish red color and uh, I haven't actually used this color in any of my tutorials just yet um, but there you go we're gonna use it today so starting at the top of the claws you can add in your carmine and then just come in with your brush pen and sort of blend that down. Again, I use these brush markers for my tutorials for the purpose of clarity um, and sort of the ease of me explaining it while doing it. But normally I use the Liquitex acrylics and it gives it a really nice traditional sort of look. Now you'll notice that the claw that's at the furthermost at the back, that one there and that one there, I've done solid carmine. Uh, this is because they're sitting at the back. I just want them to be a little bit darker. Okay, a few final touches here. We're going to take our red and just do a little bit of red at the tip of the feathers and sort of fade that down. Okay, we're just going to add a little bit of red to the uh, eyebrow portion of this guy. So starting at the end of the eyebrow there, we'll add a little bit of red and just fade that up. Again, this is optional. This is just a style thing. I like to give my eagles a little bit of red on the top of their head here on the forehead. You can color that tongue in red as well. And I think we'll leave it at that. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Please give us a thumbs up if you did like it and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what else you'd like to see. And make sure you check out my other tutorial videos and share them around if you know someone that likes to draw or would like to learn how to draw. You can find me on Facebook at Daggett Designs to see my online portfolio. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content. See you guys, bye.